The idea of uh, this uh, session of the executive seminar is to talk briefly but consistently about three emerging issues in fiscal uh, policy in Europe and elsewhere. The first one is what do we know about the uh, effect of fiscal policy? It's, a, it's about the size, macroeconomic effect of fiscal policy. The second one is uh, what do we know about the channels through which a fiscal measure can uh, determine the macroeconomic uh, level of activity in a country. And the third one is the most uh, difficult issue today, which is how to accompany consolidation of budget and uh, stabilization of debt with uh, uh, keeping uh, the economy running at a good pace. So how to consolidate the budget without killing the recovery. So in the first part, we look at uh, evidence, recent evidence, trying to ask the simple question, not what is the size of the multiplicative effect of fiscal policy, but under what condition fiscal policy may make a difference. This takes a little bit of statistical uh, wisdom, but uh, collecting different studies and methodology, we are sort of discussing ways in which we can uh, de facto understand whether we can rely on fiscal policy in a situation of financial crisis, like the recent global crisis. Part of the discussion today, lively discussion with the participants, was exactly about uh, this uh, striking result that uh, under a condition of financial and banking crisis, actually fiscal policy matters much more than under normal conditions. The second part is uh, partly, the second part of the session is in part addressing the models that central banks and treasuries around the world use. So try to understand what is the uh, channel through which fiscal policy affect the economy in the eyes of policymakers using those models. So um, we are trying to discuss uh, the way policymakers envision the economy, but especially what we need to know to have a definite answer to the question that we posed in the first part. So uh, we, we do that actually not theoretically, but addressing a specific question that everybody knows from their own uh, studies, which is uh, you know, the famous conventional wisdom, the famous standard that fiscal policy is more effective under a fixed exchange rate or a currency union related to an economy with flexible exchange rate. So this means that we are going to reconsider the conventional wisdom under a new light, and we are going to criticize, and, uh, and we, we, we are criticize and discuss the conventional wisdom, uh, trying to break what is uh, a piece of, of, of uh, uh, policy beliefs that many people have around the world uh, to break it down into elements that may or may not be there in different uh, uh, environments and different experiences. The last part is the difficult question, which is uh, how to consolidate the budget in a situation where the recovery is fragile and where uh, concerns about the demand uh, comes together with concerns about uh, the state of the public finance. Now, there is a specific uh, problem which is the fact that the uh, risk premium government debt uh, typically goes, affects also the conditions of credit of the private sector. Let's call it the sovereign, uh, sovereign channel through which uh, a country with a government in trouble may create a problem for the private sector trying to uh, access and work with the financial, uh, financial markets. So the, uh, this is the, the, the a novel part of the executive seminars that will be partly uh, devoted to the analysis of uh, the evidence, but also partly devoted to uh, the use of models to understand what are the risks and the opportunities in this, uh, in this new situation.